is Andrew from DMS and FMT, Diversified Machine Systems or Freedom Machine Tool here in Colorado Springs. Uh, welcome to our part two Fusion 360 demo. Uh, what we're doing is uh, part one, which, which will be in the link if you haven't seen it, is we um, are taking a, a bookshelf and we're going to turn that into a nested base part that we can then create a uh, tool path with and, and similar and route that out. What we've done in, the, in our first uh, part of this is we've actually taken and blown up our bookshelf, so to say, so our individual components and bodies are actually on their own. Uh, the next thing we need to do is lay those flat. So there, there is a script you can run um, within Fusion that will help you do this. It's not the easiest thing in the world. There are some videos out there doing that. Uh, so all I'm gonna show you in this video is just a simple way that you can do this. Uh, let's say you only have, in this case, you know, what is it? seven parts, it may be easier to do it this way. Um, if you did need to nest the parts, I would recommend um, looking at that script online. But for now, we'll, we'll cover this fairly simple. So the first thing we're gonna do is we want to create a new sketch. I've made this one, but let's, let's do it uh, from scratch. So what we wanna do is make a new sketch, a new rectangle. So we'll come up here to sketch now look how this is trying to figure out where the rectangle is going to be placed or, or you know, essentially where our Z is going to be. One easy way to do this is just change your view. So think about you're looking at your router. You want to look at it from the top down. There you go. It gives you one choice. So now what we want to do is actually make this box. So I'm just going to type 96 times 48. Now we've got this rectangle here. What we need to do is we want to give this a little bit of depth so that we can use this for our next part. So we're going to click, we'll press E, which will extrude, and let's just do 0 0.10. This number doesn't necessarily matter. Um, you'll see, I would recommend you just make this number less than what your thickness is of your parts. In this case, we have measured our parts and these are 0.725. So what we can do is just 0.1 so we can see it. Essentially, we want to align all of our parts to this box we're creating, which is why we have to give it just a little bit of a depth. 0.1 and OK. So on this operation here, we actually really want this to be new body. And good. All right. So now if we just come back to our home view, we've got all of our parts, and we've got this rectangular piece here. So now what we want to do is the easiest way to rotate these. There's a, there's a few ways you can do it, but an easy way is now select the face. So notice how I'm not selecting the whole body. In our past example, we wanted to select the body and move it, but right now we just want to select the face that we want to move. And what this will do is this will essentially rotate the whole thing so that it's even with what our rectangle is. So we'll select that and we can go to Modify, Align. The easy thing I do is I just like to clear it. So let's do this. And we're going to align that to here and OK. So now what we've done is we've now essentially laid flat that particular piece. Let's do that for all these. Modify align. Let's just select that to there and that will bring it down. And good. Modify align. This to that. Looks good. Modify align. This to that. Looks good. Let me keep going. I think we've got just two more pieces. And then our last piece is this little kicker plate here. Modify the line. Okay, so now we've got a bit of a mess though, because everything is essentially on the same plane, if you will, but we need to spread these out on our 4 by 8 sheet of material. So let's imagine we're actually going to nest this and create this out of a sheet of plywood, MDF, something like that. So what we can now do 
is we can select our individual components, so not our bodies, I mean, so look how now I'm picking the entire thing, and I'm going to move this. A hint is, if we press this here, it's going to let us move it anywhere, high, low. We don't want to do that, because we want to keep this on the same exact um, height. So we'll do the same thing, move, and all I'm going to do is use these arrows. I'm just going to move it up here, and then I'm just going to move it in. Okay, so now we've nested that, if you will, there. If, if you want, we can give it a little bit more room, but we'll do the same thing. Let's just move that up in there. Let's take this bottom. And I think what we're going to need to do is actually give ourselves a little more space. So let's get these just a little bit closer. Notice how I'm always choosing this arrow and I'm just sliding it essentially. If you want, if it helps you, you can also do it from the top view down. Maybe um, you need to actually leave tabs on everything because you're not using a vacuum and you want to actually bring this in just a little bit so you've got room. Let's do that with this top too, just so there's space. And let's move this one up our bottom here and over and our bottom our uh, kick plate we can move that over as well our shelf middle let's move that over a little bit and down a little bit So now, we're left with this right side, which is not going to fit. So what we actually are going to do is we're actually going to rotate this a little bit. So look at this dial here. What we can do is we can actually move that and make that fit better. If you want, you can just rotate it to 90. You can type in 90. Whatever you want to do, it's really all the same. So let's press OK. Good. We rotated it. That looks good. Let's select and move it again. And now let's do just like what we did and just move it into maybe right here where we've got plenty of space there now is this the absolute best way to do this maybe not but this will work for you and this may make it easier to visualize um, but one thing we do have is look how this is a little bit too tall still so we'll just use our same trick as before modify align we'll select our piece select our material here and it will then put it there so we now should have everything on an equal uh, plane here. What we could do is we could actually go from a view to the front, and we see everything is good. There's nothing sticking out. Everything is good. So what we're seeing is that it's all uniform. That looks fine. So hopefully this has helped you. Uh, maybe this will help you actually nest some parts on your own in Fusion 360. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll include this file as well. So if you do want to skip the first step of actually taking each uh, body apart, you can do that and go directly to this. Um, uh, next video will actually create a tool path using Fusion and then post that out and actually create this uh, bookshelf here. Thank you again for watching. I uh, hope to see you on the next video.